Hello, this is McDee the Beast, and this is McDee Sports 4 coming to you today with my Buffalo football predictions for the 2020 college football season. Before I continue, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Please subscribe to your channel. Greatly appreciate if you do that. I do have a subscriber goal of 500 subscribers, which I'll love to hit by August 29th. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're new, you will not regret it. So Buffalo last year uh, lost, I believe, in the... Uh, or, or no, they weren't even in it. Never mind. The, uh, they were one. Of, they were one of the better teams though in the MAC. They've been one of the better teams in the MAC for the past few years now. I think they even won a MAC championship in that maybe even two. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really uh, pay attention to MAC as much as other conferences, but I feel it's important to do each each team or as many teams as I, as I can. So we're gonna kick off my predictions in the MAC. With Buffalo, uh, this is the first MAC football team I'm doing uh, during this prediction season. Let's see how they do this season. So uh, let's we'll start off with the things I like. Uh, Lance Leopold. Uh, I absolutely like uh, Lance Leopold. Uh, Leopold. Um, sorry if I'm getting the last name messed up, but uh, I do think uh, he, he came from an FCS school. He went to he, he came to coach from Buffalo, been there for a few years. They've been winning a lot under him. I really like uh, what he's doing with this team. I think that's your number one thing that I like, your head coach, Lance Leopold. Uh, and I also like your offense. Your offense, I think, was a bit underappreciated last year. I think uh, they were a bit better than what people thought they were. Um, overall, I do think your offense is another strong suit for you guys. The thing I don't like is your schedule. This schedule is actually going to be pretty tough for you guys. Uh, so let's look at the three toughest games. Ohio State, Kansas State, and Ohio. Ohio State is a top three team in the country. Kansas State, uh, probably at least a middle of the road team in the Big 12. Ohio, one of the better teams in your conference. But you also have uh, an out conference game on the road against Army. That's going to be tricky, I think. Uh, you also have at uh, Western Michigan. That team scores a lot of points. Even at Northern Illinois, I know they weren't that good last year, but at the same time, uh, they're usually are. So last year was a bit of a fluke, I think, for them. So overall, um, I do think uh, your schedule is tough. Your three easiest games, St. Fra Francis, Akron, and Bowling Green. I've never heard of St. Francis you before, uh, so I put them as your easiest game because I've never heard of them uh, before. Akron, uh, they went 0 12 last year. That's the second easiest game, um, and they are one of the worst teams in college football. Their goal is just, is just to get a win uh, this year somewhere. And then Bowling Green, uh, they're always a pitiful team. Uh, they're kind of a punching line They're in this channel. Bowling Green, one of the worst teams in college football year in and year out. Your best case scenario is 10 and 2. To me, this schedule is very tricky. Let's say you go, I don't think you're being a higher state. I'll come out and say right now, that I, I give you guys like 0.0000001 uh, chance of being a higher state. Uh, Kansas State, though, let's say you go in the room and beat Kansas State. I give you maybe a puncher's chance against them. You're gonna, I think you're going to lose another game somewhere. You're on the road against Ohio and Western Michigan, back-to-back -back road games to finish out the year. Um, at Army, I think it's going to be tricky. At Northern Illinois, I think it's going to be tricky. Even Miami of Ohio, you get them at home, but they won the uh, MAC last year, but you get them at home, but that's going to be tricky. So I think there's – Ball State, they made a bowl game last year. Kent State, a team that's on the rise in the MAC. So they, they, there are games, I think, all over the place that you guys can very well lose. So that's why I said worst-case scenario, 5-7. and seven. We all know that the MAC basically, like, usually the MAC champions are, at, are like a 9-4 and four team usually because they lose a lot of games out of conference. But I think your in-conference schedule is tricky as well. But let's look at the schedule. Here's the schedule right here from you I've been uh, talking about for the past few minutes. Uh, your first game, kick off the season on the road against Kansas State. Uh, Kansas State was a team that surprised a lot of people last year. I think they're going to be probably just as good as they were last year as the, this year. Um, and I think you guys are going to lose some. I do think this game is going to be competitive, though. I do think, you, I, as I said, I do give you guys a punch or shot against them. But uh, I think you guys uh, are going to probably end up losing by two to three touchdowns against them. Next game, St. Fran Francis. Uh, I've never heard of this school before. I never have. Um, I gave you guys the win. Maybe I think they might be a school in the Buffalo area. I don't know, in the Buffalo, New York area. But uh, I've never heard of this school before. So uh, I gave you guys the win. Um, 
We'll see what you guys do against them, but I'm, I gave you guys the win. I'm not, I've actually never, I know, I have no clue what to think of St. Francis. Never heard of them before. Next game at Ohio State. As I said a minute ago, loss. There's no way in hell you're being Ohio State. There just isn't. Hate to break it to Buffalo fans, but there is no way in hell you're being them, especially on the road. Good Lord. Uh, a goal for you guys could be holding them under 60. That could be a goal for you guys. Uh, I think this game's going to be a blowout. So uh, go ahead. Give me a high say in that one. Next game at Bowling Green. Now, this, this next slate to, uh, from Bowling Green, probably through Kent State, to me, is the easy slate of your schedule. If you're on schedule, uh, your back half of the schedule is pretty tough. It's probably like the very tough spot. Three road games in the final four. And that home game is against the uh, reigning Mac football champs. So it is a tough schedule. I'm telling you, this is a really tough schedule for a Mac football team. But anyways, on the road against Bowling Green, win. Bowling Green, as I said, they're a punchline on this channel. They are a not that good of a football team. I think you guys take care of them despite being on the road. Next game, Akron at home, win. Uh, they're just going to try and win a game this year there. Uh, they went 0-12 last year. Um, they always seem to be one of the worst teams in the MAC as well. I think you guys beat them very easily, especially at home. Next game, Ball State. Ball State was a team uh, that I kind of pinned on notice last year. So with Mike New, I said this guy needs to make a bowl game or something this year because he was like 10-26 and 26 as a head coach. And... Um, they made a bowl game. Give them credit. They made a bowl game. They went six and six. I I I I don't know if they actually got into a bowl game. I forget, but they got to that. They got to six and six, and they made a bowl game. So um, or at least qualified for one. This game's at home. I do think this game's gonna be competitive. Back then, I did give it to you guys because you guys are the home team, and I think you guys are the better team as well. So go ahead and give me balls. And go ahead and give me uh, Buffalo over Ball State. So first six games, four and two, you're three and zero in the conference. As I said, uh, a lot of MAC football teams they lose two, three games out of conference, but then turn around and go like seven and one in the conference. So that's something to keep an eye on. Um, next game, Kent State at home. Kent State is a well coached team. I really like their head coach. His name escapes me. He's a young guy, but uh, that's a to me, Kent State. They are well coached. Um, I do think it's going to be a, a very competitive game. But at the end, it's in Buffalo. I'm giving it to Buffalo. I just think they're a bit better, especially at home. Go ahead and give me Buffalo in this one. Next game at Army. Our conference game here. Army disappointed a lot of people last year. Um, this year, I think they'll bounce back some. Uh, they won that triple option. That's always tough to prepare for. Um, so, overall, I do think it's going to be a very tough game for Buffalo. And it is an in-state game. I gave you guys the loss. I just think that triple option is just going to be a bit too tricky to figure out uh, for Buffalo for, uh, defense throughout the game. I th kind of low scoring, but I think at the end, Army pulls away with the win, especially at home. So that's your third loss, but all losses are out of conference. Next game at Northern Illinois. Northern Illinois, I actually think, was a fluke last year. I really do. And team took a big step back. I believe they went 4-8. Um, which scares me that last year was the fluke year because my Terps, I'm a Maryland Terps fan. Uh, they, we played them in week two, Northern Illinois. But um, Northern Illinois is a team that I personally think is going to take a big leap forward. 30% of teams, uh, this is an interesting statistic, 30% uh, of teams either approve or go or go back three games, which means they either approve uh, the win total by three games year in and year out, or they uh, take a step back by three games year in and year out. I think Northern Illinois will fall under that category of approving to th by at least three wins. I think you guys lose this one because it's in Northern Illinois. You have to go basically across the conference from uh, Buffalo, New York, to the Cobb, Illinois. Um, it's going to be, I think, a bit of a tricky game. Northern Illinois, as I said, I think they're going to be a lot better this year. Go ahead, give me the Huskies. Over the Bison. Next game. Uh, actually, after Northern Illinois, is your bye week. So, interesting spot for a bye week. Maybe you run before the Army game and you maybe just go through those final uh, five games rapid fire. But um, your bye week comes after Northern Illinois. Coming off your bye week, Tuesday game. And by the way, I hate these Tuesday, Wednesday games. You guys have a Tuesday and Wednesday game back to back. 
I hate these type of games. I don't think football should be played on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I really don't think Power 5 football should be at all during weeknights. Uh, if Group of 5 wants that for the national stage, fine. I know NFL has a Thursday night game. I, I, I honestly don't like the NFL Thursday night game, honestly. Um... But uh, I I don't believe in these weeknight games, especially Tuesday and Wednesday. But if a group of five wants to have a Thursday or Friday night game, that's fine, I guess. I mean, may, maybe only Friday night games. Maybe you only have a select few. But uh, I guess you guys use Tuesdays and Wednesdays because it's the national spotlight. But uh, anyways, taking off my soapbox off or whatever that term is. Um, Miami, Ohio at home. They won the MAC last year. This is going to be a great game either way. I think this is going to be a very tight game. I gave it to Buffalo because they're at home and they're coming off the bye. Uh, that's the only two reasons why. I think both of these teams are pretty much even. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give this game to Buffalo. Next game at Ohio. Uh, Ohio is a team. Uh, they seem to be one of the better teams in the MAC the past few years. Um, I think it's going to be the same thing this year. I actually think they could be the best team in the MAC, and with this game on the road for Buffalo, I gave you guys the loss. Um, I don't know if Ohio is better than Buffalo, but I think Ohio has a better shot of being one of the best teams in the MAC than Buffalo does. And Buffalo might be the best team in the MAC, who knows? But um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one to Ohio because the game is in Ohio, so that's your uh, fifth loss of the year. Final game of the season at Western Michigan. Western Michigan. Uh, very good offense. That's what I know about them. That's all I really know about them. Very good offense. Piss poor defense. It's on the road for you guys. Could, could turn into a shootout. I do like your offense, though, this year. I think your defense is better than Western Michigan's. I think your defense will actually be the difference in this one. You get a few stops, and you guys uh, finish the regular season out with a win over Western Michigan. I think this game will be a, a bit of a shootout. So, um, you count up all the wins and losses. I have Buffalo going. Seven and five with a six and two conference record. Seven and five with a six and two conference record. Now you might ask yourself, oh, seven and five, that's not that great. But you turn around and you have a six and two conference record. That might be good enough to win uh, the MAC East. So we'll see what happens. Um, but overall, I think your out conference schedule is very tough. I think you guys are going to slip up a time or two in the MAC. So. I think this could be a bit of a down year for Buffalo, but I also think uh, it's not so much of a down year. It's also that schedule as well. I'm telling you, that, that schedule is really tough for our MAC football team. Uh, I'm just, I mean, probably one of the toughest, probably the toughest schedule in the MAC, honestly. But who knows? Um, we'll see what happens. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. Hit the thumbs up button. Please subscribe to your channel. Uh, tomorrow is going to be Iowa. Uh, Tuesday is Monday's going to be Iowa. Tuesday's going to be Miami. Wednesday is going to be Baylor. Thursday is going to be Ole Miss. I, I know in the Appalachian State video earlier today, I didn't make the decision on that yet. Thursday is going to be Ole Miss. And then Friday is going to be Utah. So uh, stay tuned for those videos. I'm also going to sprinkle Navy and Air Force in there as well. Maybe another group of five team. Uh, we'll see what happens. But anyways, thanks for watching. D the Beast signing off.